Let's see if I can get a crit fail right at the start. Let's do you it. have them, drink them. So that's what we're gonna start off with. So, <laughs> if you got them, drink them. <laughs> oh my god! Was that recorded? Yeah. No yeah. way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, welcome back to Lucy Goosey RPG. I'm your host, DM Ryan, and joining me is Jordan. Matthew. And our second guest. Garfield. All right, nice. So, yeah, of course, Matt got a crit right off. (laughs) (laughs) Crit master over here. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Jumping back in, you guys kill the witch and her snake, Dexter. Mm -hmm. And you were moving on to the next section, the fields of Macedil. Now, uh, what happened to Madison's character? So, yeah, so since Madison is no longer our guest for this episode, uh, <laughs> what'd she say? She wanted to get eaten by a monster? Yeah, you, okay. said, it, you said essentially <laughs> like a fish or something. Yeah, so, so as we traveled, we were on the edge of the lake, and out of nowhere, a giant fish jumps out of the water and eats her and then swims away. And, of course, we'll come back to her backstory later. <laughs> <laughs> We'll see what we'll see what happens to her later on. Oh, so she's not dead. No, she's no, not dead. No, no, she's not dead. It's she a whole you Jonas. know. Yeah, yeah, Jonah in the well. Jonah, yeah, yeah. Jonas does it. Yeah, Jonas is a band. <laughs> Nick Jonas? I thought that was a person. No, they're all named Jonas. Oh, like three of them. okay. And they're all okay. brothers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we all knew that, right? Right, <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah we yeah. all knew that. <clears throat> but so you're transitioning from the lake the edge of the woods the trees start to get more sparse as you go through and you eventually come to the edge and before you is a great field with many many flowers just flowers as far as the eye can see and so many colors i'm very tempted to prance but i will not do we need to make an allergy Restrain roll yourself. allergy roll yes go for it allergy <laughs> roll. need a rolling for not prancing oh nine oh. Oh, <laughs> no way! <laughs> Golly! Thank goodness he rolled outside the tree. <laughs> well, well uh, if you got him, drink him. Oh, drink anyway, all right. Yeah. So, so, I just you. failed an allergy check. <laughs> oh, that's true, yeah. Oh, that's right, you failed an allergy check. Uh, what are your HPs at? 25? We're 25 yeah, total. 25. Yeah, so your HP's going to be 25. Gotcha. All right, so... You are going to have to make sneezing checks for a while. How'd you? All right. Oh boy. <clears throat> and, uh, and so, but your first sneeze, dandelions. Uh, you you accidentally headbutt a tree. <laughs> 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 so you're, you're gonna take four damage. Oh, good gracious! <laughs> what the no. heck was it? Was it a tree that had like spikes just all well, around? Well, actually, it or something? Uh, <laughs> the branch was broken, and you went straight into it. Like, oh god! <laughs> okay, so so did I like go into it and there was like a beehive there and no no a branch ah, just, just branch. a branch and so the branch was j- uh, jabbed out and yeah. you head butted it basically yeah, at least it wasn't oh, a black man tree <laughs> and uh, I rolled a nine on my uh, restraining prancing check so I, I'm afraid I might just start prancing through the flowers yeah you might uh you you do it a few times but then you kind of restrain yourself i just kind of sit down and i'm like okay 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 i just start plucking my my bow like a harp mm. or the, the lyre <laughs> and <clears throat> as you get closer you see someone laying in the f- in the field of flowers making like flower angels <laughs> uh, okay <laughs> I'm just, I'm just making flower angels, <laughs> looking up directly at the sun. <laughs> it was like, take me, please. <laughs> I'm almost there, just a little bit more. Please take me. You... So I'm walking around, kind of like rubbing my eyes, and I trip over him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because I couldn't see him. Yeah, and because uh, you, you almost jabbed your eye out with a tree branch. Yeah, and mm-hmm. allergies. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you trip oh. over him. 
So close. <laughs> so close. And uh, Lear starts... Um, Slightly he... prancing. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I see uh, Hulk and Trip, and I kind of keep going, and I'm like looking down at him, and then I see the guy making a flower angel in there, and I'm like, ooh. And I, I walk up right over to him, and I, I bend over him, and I just start going, bloop, 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 with my lyre right over him. Mm, hey. Hi! <laughs> Hi. What <laughs> <laughs> uh, you doing? <laughs> working up the nerve. Ah. I mean, is that what they call it nowadays? Yeah. Well, this is, this is, this is not going to work this time. You guys, uh, and I like stand up, and I just start looking around, and I start. I was like, "All right." These, these... And before you, you see mm-hmm. an orc with no shirt, rippling muscles. You see a what seems a to be leg. yeah, and a petrified leg. Mm-hmm. You see before you what seems to be some type of half deer, half man creature, mm-hmm. with one leg as a deer leg and the other leg as a human leg. Wow. And then you see a dwarf. He's a little bit taller than the dwarf, and his beard is a little bit shorter because mm-hmm. he's a half. He's a half dwarf mm-hmm. uh, in armor. Right. Okay. Uh, I just look upon the sides, and I was like, "Oh boy!" Because <laughs> 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 because uh, you guys don't happen to be good fighters, would you? I that we are. I'm very good. I've always been a good boy. Okay, what about you? I take people down with my bare hands. Would you like to try? Yes. Okay. All right. Hit me. Okay. Hit me, please. Please. Let's see. Let's set the DC to ten. Please. Okay. (laughs) So let me just go right by your head. Oh boy. Okay, that was one. Four. Four. <laughs> Twelve. So All one right. hits. So, All right. So he goes left, flies by your uh, head. Right goes fly by your head. And then he headbutts you. Both of them shout. The, the, old, the old double punch bluff. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, but your technique needs some work. <laughs> <clears throat> Lear's just watching in amazement. Big smile. Hey, what are you guys doing here? We are on a quest to find the Duvet Goose. It's a wish granter. Wish granter? Seems yeah. you're ahead of us. Yeah. Not on purpose. Right? No. Anyway, that sounds interesting so what type of wish would it grant as far as uh, we know, any wish any wish right so let's say hypothetically right if someone just you know wants to let's say go to a castle and just like get some time alone by himself they could do that that i imagine mm-hmm. yeah dope and how many wishes one one Hmm. Oh. Per person. We per, per, yeah, per we person. Mm-hmm. We hope. We don't really <laughs> so know. Do you, we said, do you, how do you guys know where it is, anyway? We, we have, have a map. map. <laughs> 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 okay. <clears throat> this seems a bit more solid than I first thought. <laughs> See, X marks the spot. Huh. See, we went through the woods, we went through the lake, and we're now here at the flower field, apparently. Not you! (laughs) (laughs) Some of us has allergies. How much longer do we get to you? Well, see, it has, in the middle of the fields, an X, and it says Duvet Goose. Not exactly sure why it would be in the middle of the field, but that's where we're going. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, well, you guys can continue on. Um, don't don't mind me. I'm just gonna be back here. I'm not gonna steal your wish or anything. Uh, uh, very well. Let's go. Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right. I'm gonna drag you along. So, like I said, uh, the field 
is covered in flowers many many colors you know when you transition from the woods to the fields a blast of pleasant smells hit you and it's very calming and peaceful not you and allergenic <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna do something a little different here <clears throat> we're gonna yeah, note cards follow the element load and on these note cards well, this is actually how we started out of, originally yes this is how we started out originally so you place the bo- your bottle cap. Let's see which one. That's the purple one. Wizard, the wonderful wizard. Of okay. That's yours, and that's yours. And these are basically points of interest. You say, "Oh, I want to go to the fields." Mm-hmm. You put your thing on it. Right. Put your thing on it. Yes. Put, put your thing, thing on it. Yeah. Okay. So <clears throat> we're all at the fields, mm-hmm. and you see in the distance because uh, this field is massive it's even larger than the lake so it's going to take a little while to get to where we want to go but we you see a tower vaguely vaguely in the distance so basically you know just for us so say for instance we're going to the tower and we want to go to the tower anytime we're at the tower to transition we'll do like that right instead of having this big drawn out board we'll just have these little small things okay uh, so yeah, you're headed to a tower, but it's too far to go to. You got plenty of distance between you, the fields, and the tower. So that's where we're headed, game-wise. Alright, so you wander. There's a single path, mm-hmm. much like the ones in the woods before you, as it meanders its way through the flower fields. Do you take it, or do you go on your own? No shit! Well, I mean, considering how the paths <coughs> worked in the woods, we should go off the path. Okay. But, who knows, maybe there's some tricksy magic that's associated with these fields. If we leave the path, then we get lost. I'm going to go ahead and take a bath. I'll take a shower. I'm dragging you with me. Alright, contest. Yep, contest. Let's do it. Ready for this? Oh. I'll go wherever my friends are going. Oh, no! <laughs> 18 <laughs> Nice. So yeah, I take my hammer and smack your hand away with it. <laughs> Fine, come on. All right. I follow. You follow us. Are you are you being are you, like, stealthy us? or no? You... No, I'm not stealthy. It's it's obvious. I'm just following you. <laughs> okay, like too close. Like... No, just <clears throat> like in like if you speak loudly, I could hear you. And oh, you guys okay. hear me? Okay. Like it's it's. <clears throat> I'm just there. I'm like yeah. Is it is it that way, guys? I'm not really yeah. sure he could follow us too close. <laughs> yeah. At least my character doesn't think so. Is it is it over there? Is it in the tower? <clears throat> the ghost! We're headed to the tower, guys. Way over there. <laughs> <laughs> so uh so yeah, we're alright, as we meander our way on the path. You now we hear we hear something Strange. Everyone make a perception check. Me. All right, crit fail. Let's do this. You set yourself up then. You got a 12, I think. Yeah. Seven. I got three. three. What the <laughs> eight. Um, All right. So we ever got the 12. It's you, all right? Me. Yep. Uh, so, as a dwarf paladin, half dwarf my band paladin. Those dice. <laughs> These are my dice. <laughs> <laughs> I take that as a yes. So. My heightened sense of battle kick in, and I feel that something is coming. So I warn you guys. And as I warn you guys, a giant carnivorous flower monster bursts out from the field next to us and starts to attack. (laughs) Oh, so you're the source of all these allergies. (laughs) Everyone, roll for reaction. Undertale fans everywhere just had a shiver go down their spine. Oh, yeah. no. Oh. <laughs> Good thing it's just an initiative roll, right? Yeah. Yeah. 16. And 15, then now i got to do the monster. Yeah, 19. Okay. Now. So you go first. All right. Um, well, yeah. let's see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you guys are attacking? Yeah, I'm going to attack it. I'm just going to roll for these. 15, 11, and a 6. Okay. Two of your hits. Okay. Uh, 
a one and a four. So the field DC is ten? Yeah. Yes. Five damage! Yep, so it took five damage. Yuck, yuck, yuck. So I basically pulled one of the little leaves from it. <laughs> yeah. Ah, my rosette! <laughs> and, uh, and then you, like, punched it. Yep. But it was, like, in its root. It's, like, its biggest part, so it, like, didn't do anything. Right. That was, that, your, that was that the was one the damage. One. Mm. So, uh, next is Cornfield. All right. Let's see. Did you ever say what your character's name was? Not yet. Okay. All right. Mm. Do you want to join the battle? Yes, I do. <clears throat> okay. Of course he does. I mean, yeah. So, I would, I guess, go up there, try to take, unsheathe my katana, nice and flashy flourish, mm-hmm. and I just wind up and I miss. Like, you know where it goes, the screen goes black, a little line comes on, mm-hmm. <laughs> nothing happens. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> like that classic, like, samurai show off where they, they, they go, zing, and they're, like, across from each other, mm-hmm. and then the one person falls over. Yeah. That didn't happen. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> because you have the perfect weapon for this creature, I fear. Yeah, that's true. All right, next is the first of the monsters. So uh, this flower creature, uh, after getting one of its uh, leaves ripped off and barely punched, almost tickled, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> and then some strange armored guy with a big sword, you know, just starts waving a sword around. Uh, it's going to try to uh, attack the one that did damage to it. So it's going, oh. so it's going to try to eat you. Hmm. Oh, Alright, so it it comes down, chomps on you. It's inside its mouth, its tongue wraps around you, and you're grappled. Oh gosh, this is kinky. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> and you take... Whoops. Six damage. Flower power. Mm. Alright. Alright. So that's all it can do for now. Now it is going to be Flint's turn. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Uh, what do I want to do? I guess I'm just going to go up and attack it with my great sword. Well, all, right, all right. So yeah, do some damage. All right. So yeah, I hear you. Three damage. Three damage. Three damage. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Sometimes things will just like jump out of my hands, and then I'm, as I'm trying to catch them, I'll smack them out of the air. <laughs> it just looks like I just like spazzed out and threw something. <laughs> like Dr. Goddard, the other day, I was carrying a box to go throw it away, and it um it was one of those little Amazon boxes. Mm-hmm. And as I was carrying it, I tried to like shift my grip on it, and one of the the flaps started unfolding, and it just like started pulling out of my hands. And I was like, oh crap! And I went. To like try and grab it, and I just ended up like throwing it out in the lobby, <laughs> and it looked like I had a spasm and like, threw it. And Doctor Guard was like, Are "You all right?" <laughs> oh man, just spasm out here. I had a lot of caffeine that day. Yeah, that'll that'll definitely do it. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. All right. So Flint runs up with his sword and tries to hack this thing at its roots to try to cut it down. It does some damage to it, decent damage, but. You know, the monster's still trying to eat you, Hulkin. <laughs> so. Alright. I don't want to be a part of this. Let's see. Next up is Lear. Um, you know what? Uh, I'm just remembering this because uh, I was listening to the previous episodes. But Lear has a potion of fire breathing. Mm-hmm. And so uh, oh, dear. He's, he's going to use that because pretty much everything he has does piercing damage. Mm-hmm. Or whipping damage, which I don't think would be efficient. So, potion of fire breathing, what do I do? Should I just roll for it, or does it work? Uh, it should work. Let's see. Ooh, can we add a burp sound effect? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, it's already been done. <laughs> it's funny, because I can't burp. I don't know. But drink enough of that cocoa one time, maybe. There we go. No, that wasn't a bird. That's just this weird croaking thing that I do. There's a whole community on Reddit. It's called No Burp. And they all have this weird croak that they make instead of burping. (laughs) 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 Y'all were going to say, uh huh. Yeah, I could do it on 
that tickled me more than you should have. <laughs> we gotta leave that in. <laughs> Alright, so okay, you can do 3d6 damage. Whoa. But you gotta hit. Uh, Alright, fire breath. Mm. Oh, oh no! no! <laughs> Oh no! If you got them, drink them. Oh, Cookie man. back, quack many coal. Okay, so <coughs> do you know what it's gonna fail? Is that what you want to do? No, I'd like it not to fail, but I, just, <laughs> I, I, I crit fail. Oh, I thought you said you wanted you knew you knew what you wanted to happen. Oh no, no, I meant I know what my next uh, strategy is going to be. <clears throat> okay, it depends on how strong this thing is. Though. <laughs> so you drank this thing, right? <clears throat> and uh, instead of coming out your mouth, <laughs> uh, <I knew> it! <laughs> it comes out the other. End. And uh, <clears throat> since you were in the back, there's no one behind you, so I can't hit anybody with it. <clears throat> but you are going to take some damage. <laughs> <laughs> that was what you expected. Oh, good. Wow. Oh, three cool. damage. Three damage. Three, uh, taco damage. Yeah. <laughs> Someone had Taco Bell. Oy, oy, oy. Oh. You know, honestly, I can't think of a better way that could occur. <laughs> yeah. It's so mean. <laughs> Those dice are cursed. <laughs> they are. That's true. I took your dice. And I <laughs> it's sad because yeah. both the layout and the dice and these dice are like my primary ones. No, no, no man. I, I would okay. say it with me if you guys are really super my turn. Yeah. They're trying to rip this tongue out. Maybe. Alright, uh, you got to contest it to try to get All out. Alright, let's do it. Oh, no! <laughs> Apparently the luck is non-transferable. <laughs> yeah, oh. don't drink. Oh. Jeez, Matt. <laughs> I think it's because we added the drinking stipulation to this game, we get more crits. Is it, are they loaded? <laughs> nope, they're just crappy. Mm. Those are Ryan's dice, they're usually good. Yeah. Okay, so Already what happens it. to me? Oh, here we got it. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure there'd be another crit soon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, just th three We haven't even really gotten into real yeah. combat, right, no, so... Right. I know. So, yeah, you try to get loose, and it grips tighter, uh, constricting you, and you... Uh, well, I was going to say you drop your weapon, but you don't have a weapon. Nope. Drop your. Oh, I mean, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Golf my pants down. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no please. <laughs> I mean, this isn't a family orientated show, but it's not It's not, uh, It's not. not that kind of show, man. Well, I mean, that's the only other thing I can drop. <laughs> you had a gauntlet. You have a gauntlet. You spiked gauntlet. From the very beginning. It flies off. Yeah, it came oh, out of yeah. Spiked cider. cider? I remember that. Yeah. So yeah, it rips off your spiked gauntlet mm. and takes it away. So you can uh, try to fish for that or not. Five. Yeah. It's gotta be in the tray. Six. 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 Uh, <laughs> one that was on the ground. Okay. Well, I'll do that. I'll do that. Five damage. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> I'm rolling hot tonight. Apparently. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. It's on, it's on me? Yep. All right. I look at the sun again. And I was like, all right, round two. And then I, I want to try to cut him free. Okay. Yeah, right. it's its mouth is close enough to the ground that you can try to cut him free. Okay. No. Mm, no. So, so, I just, I just. so you stared at the sun a little too long. <laughs> <laughs> and you started seeing spots and it distracted you and you're, you're basically just swinging your sword wildly like not even the bladed part like to the side so even if you were to hit it it'd be like a flat my, my other hand moves closer to my second sword okay all right. <laughs> you're squinting more than usual <clears throat> <sighs> all right monster's turn oh no <laughs> so it's next to... turn <laughs> It is going to try to smash the strange person waving a sword around. 19. 19. It's uh, I'm using that die next. Yeah, for real. All right. 
Five oh my god. god. <laughs> <laughs> what is with this plant? Jeez. Yes. Yes, daddy. <laughs> so, uh, since it's got the extra added weight of Hulkin in its mouth, it comes smashing down on you, uh, dealing five damage. Uh, a good battle. <laughs> yeah. I like where this is going, guys. <laughs> Pain is pleasure. <laughs> no, all right. So, Flint. <laughs> this is already kind of going in that direction. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> oh, the depravity right. of our minds. So, your mind. Flint is going to. <laughs> <Andrew's> included. <laughs> Flint's going to try to hack at this flower some more. One. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> As I said, there would be enough. Can you get your dice out, Garfield? <laughs> I can. This just isn't going to be fun if we keep doing this. <laughs> I want my oh, next move man. to succeed. All right. Yeah, if you have them, drink them. Are those layout dice? Mm -hmm. blue. Oh, oh, that's awesome. What happens to you now? So, uh, yeah, well, what half. happens in general? So I go to, well, Flint goes to like swing a sword and uh, he goes to hit a leaf, but the leaf like takes the blow and then ricochets it back at him and he smacks himself in the face with Ooh. it. Uh, That's going to leave a mark. Four damage. Four damage. You don't more damage to yourself than the plant. I know. This plant's evil, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to call for some mm -hmm. drastic measures. All right. I mean, we've only done three damage to it so far. A little more than that. Four. Four? No. Yeah. I did four damage to it. All right. <laughs> oh, snap. Okay, Ryan. I'm going to... Uh, or Lear takes the apple. Hmm? Let me see. Let me see if uh, <laughs> the fire potion is still in effect. Oh, okay. Oh! <laughs> Natural 20! Alright, so him, well, drink yeah, if you got him, drink him. At least it's not bad this time. Yeah, cut that last part out. <laughs> I'll be surprised. So yeah, you still have the fire potion, and you can deal, what did I say, 2d6? 2d6. Alright, you can do 2d6 to it. What? Two! Yeah. And then do it again, because it's a crit. Oh! Eight! <laughs> Nice. Finally. So a total of eight damage. Now does this thing have like a weakness fire? Uh, it does. Sweet. So and that's double damage, right? Yes. Yes, it is. And that is going to put it over the top and kill it. What? Yeah. Oh. What happens to me? Uh, you. You're gonna fall. I'm, kind of I'm gonna like say. A, I'm, I'm gonna in a moist say, area, so I'm good. I'm gonna say since he rolled a twenty, uh, it screams out in terror and spits you out. Yeah. So you're gonna land. <coughs> Okay, you're gonna land okay. I land on my feet. <laughs> I stuck it. Yes, I stuck my hand. <laughs> yes, but it was And found... my gauntlet just flies into my hand. <laughs> <laughs> it was found out later on that he was um, abusing his, uh, his his leg condition in order to stick the landing. <laughs> mm. <laughs> There's always that Russian judge who gave you like a seven instead of a ten. Ah, uh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Three noses? <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> So, so yeah, so you use your fire potion, a swirling tornado of flames burst from your mouth and consume this flower monster. And then I, uh, I wiped my mouth afterward and I was like, whew, I didn't think I still had any left. Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah. yes, you've defeated the flower monster. All right. <laughs> it almost defeated us. <laughs> I know. Or did we almost defeat ourselves? That is the real question. <laughs> Okay, can I drink a health potion? <laughs> well, I think we have a couple. Of I have one on me right now. Yeah, I would love to use it. Uh, before we do that, I can heal you. Okay, please uh, do so. One, so five. All right, that's that puts me to fifteen out of twenty-five. I'm still using that potion. <laughs> okay. So let's see. What does the potion uh, heal you for again? I think it was six. guaranteed six. I can live with that. That'll put me up to 21. All right. That was impressive. <laughs> I thought you guys were pushovers, but <laughs> I was wrong. All right, so we killed the monster. You defeated my flower monster puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> right. You solved my flower puzzle. 
That's it. So we're all back at the field card. All right. So we're going along. We're still headed towards the tower. I'm walking a bit closer. Yeah. 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 You're starting to join the party. Yeah. I like like I like I'll actually like you know what. You guys are all right. Like I thought you guys were just idiots at first, but shame on me for judging a book by its cover. Well, we still haven't <laughs> proven we're not idiots, really. I saw a fire tornado leave your mouth. Yeah, that was magic. Out of hell. <laughs> Doesn't mean I'm, I'm not an idiot. idiot. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys are confident warriors. My name is Zetsubo. 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 I am Hawken. Now we must get a move on. All uh, right. Did I reintroduce myself? No. Oh. Why didn't I? I'm Lear! Oh, yeah. And I am Flint. <gasps> Great. I, always, I always like how you're like the last one to always talk and everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're all ahead of you and... Well, he's, he's a dwarf. He's kind of quiet by his nature. Yeah. Hopefully I tend to keep to myself and rocks. And I'm <laughs> and I'm some sort of <clears throat> odd, fake, probably fake creature. <laughs> Abomination. <laughs> yeah. Love child of some very promiscuous people. Something went wrong in the cook, in the in the baking. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll all earn mm. a great death together. Deja what? vu. Deja I. vu. <laughs> it's like I to yeah. die in battle is a great honor. Yes. I always hated when Skyrim people were like, "Me, you die with a sword in your hands." I'm like, "No, I don't want to die, woman. <laughs> God, what are you on?" <laughs> Stupid nards and their stupid superstitions. <laughs> uh, we start getting closer and closer, and you know. What are we getting closer to? Uh, tower. The tower. Okay, we're getting closer to the tower. Okay, mm-hmm. that's where we're headed to. Sweet. Uh, we start getting closer and closer to the tower. It smells great here. Not you. Except for you, you can't smell anything. <clears throat> oh. I'm picking bunches of flowers, handfuls of them, just stuff in my face. <sighs> <laughs> oh, my tongue's all hanging out and stuff. <clears throat> I'm really enjoying and this. You, uh, connecting with nature here. But when you go to sniff the flowers, something goes up your nose. <gasps> and, <gasps> and you feel a very sharp pain all of a sudden. Oh, no, it hit my brain. <laughs> <laughs> you have been stung. Ah! Oh. <clears throat> and, uh, <clears throat> and so <clears throat> you're going to take... Four damage. Oh, two. two damage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, it felt worse at first and got better. Yeah, yeah. It's like that with every bee sting. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. And, like uh, <laughs> so, but it really, really hurt. I mean, two, two damage is a lot for just a small bee sting. Yeah. Uh, it felt, it felt almost really big. something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, uh, it felt almost like a wasp. Oh. And all of a sudden you start hearing lots and lots of buzzing. Oh, and no. And <laughs> rising up from the flowers is a creature that looks like it's a, a wasp hive, but it's also a creature. Some type of bipedal man. Uh, and wasps are pouring out of it. <laughs> it is a paper wasp golem. <laughs> Oh man! Does that mean you use a polem? A golem? Polem. 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 Paper golem. Polem. Mm. Maybe. Did I? No, because that would be a scroll, like paper golem. So. Or the origami scroll. man from Jackie Chan Adventures. That was Holy actually a very man. good episode. By the way, you know they're rebooting that, right? Are they? What? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's cool. Ooh. You go away, I find me thou. <laughs> I really like. I'm sorry, not Jackie Chan. No, uh, well, you well, son of a no, Jack, uh, Samurai Jack. Yeah. Oh, you got me so. Uh, my hopes up. <laughs> you got me so questioning what with won't they reboot? Jackie Chan Adventure <laughs> of all the stuff. <laughs> I, know. I have a I have a laundry list of stuff that I want new episodes. Of. All right, next cat scratch. Beavers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get some of that cat dog coming yeah. in. Yeah. Boy, no, Samurai Jack. I'm sorry. I knew it was one of those, but yeah, like, yeah. I'm not nearly as excited about Samurai Jack. No. It's coming out soon. Well, mm-hmm. as the as we're recording, it's coming out soon. Mm-hmm. I'm so moist for Jackie Chan. Jackie 
Samurai Jack God Yes <laughs> I'm not alone now Yes We're all Jackie yes. Chan fans here But I don't know man Oh um, man I'm not more for Jackie Chan Joy for oh. Samurai Jack God My boy hole's only meant for one Only meant for one person Your what's all not? My boy hole <laughs> uh, first of all he said boil and then I'm like and then I realized what you said so. hi I'm Elmer and this is my boil <laughs> do it now Elmer <laughs> <laughs> what was that from fairly old yes yes okay alright uh, back to the paper wasp golem back to the paper wasp golem so yeah, this thing is going to be super annoying to fight. Okay. There's tons of wasps everywhere. He's still on fire, so... Nah, no, no, he's no, good. No. I was gonna say no, in fact, there's a wasp inside my nasal cavity. Nah, it died. Oh, it died? <laughs> yeah. It stinks so bad in there. Mm-hmm. Um, right. Everyone roll where... for uh, reaction. 19! Nice. <laughs> I collided with your die. <laughs> 12. Alright. Okay. That's first as you. Alright. I know what to do. I pull out my bow. <laughs> this All is right. a ranged fight. <clears throat> so I take my bow, draw it back, and I let one rip. <clears throat> Twelve. Okay, yeah, that is <laughs> And then I fire. I forgot to set the room DC. Yep, so the DC is ten. It is not ten. It's it. actually twelve. Yeah. Ah. Alright. It's gonna be a long fight. Bitch. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so it's your turn. You got the bow. Did you do anything yet? I fired at it. Okay. Oh yeah, and I hit for twelve. Yes, alright, so you hit. So it's a D6. Uh, yes, it is a D six. Five, Five damage, eight. nice. Dope. Doing good. You went straight into like the opening in its face. <laughs> into the entry hole. Yes. Can we see a bunch more uh, washes? Kind of. Uh, not yet, not yet. Oh, it's it's, it's kind of clogging the, the entrance. Oh, nice. <laughs> All right, next. All right. Um. Be uh, wasp are starting to swarm. Are they like near me? Mm. I just swap the wasps. Oh gosh. And is that gonna be your action? Your shirtless uh, too. No. Mm. Uh, oh, I guess that's I'll right. run in. I'll run in and here. just try to body slam them to the ground or something. You're gonna attack them? No, I'm just gonna fly by attack them. Uh, Alright, go for it. One, three. Oh. Nope. At least it wasn't a crit fail. Hey, 18. 18. Nice. And 17. 17. Alright, okay. so that's two. Yeah. There's a two. Oh, well, now he starts missing the. the <laughs> I know. And a one, so three damage. All right, so you <laughs> go and uh, you, let's say you punch the arrow further into the Ooh, uh, yes, further the hole, and then you like go for a gut punch. But you realize, you know, it's 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 a not a real person, so you just kind of punched it. So that was the one. You know. Okay. Curiously, um, I actually saw a hornet's nest for the very first time today. Did uh, you? Matthew brought one into his office. Is mm-hmm. that? Um, yeah. <laughs> And uh, they are not nearly as heavy or solid as they look. Oh, it, yeah, it, I mean, it's literally, it's like paper. Yep. And it just, I poked it, and it just, like, it was on a stick suspended between his computer and his desk, and it just started wobbling. Like, Whoa. Yep. They're impressive. Yeah. yeah. They are very impressive. Very terrifying to behold. Uh-huh. It's like, who knew something that big could be that light? Yeah. yeah. It's probably heavier when it's... Chock full of hornets. I don't know. <laughs> Those hornets aren't that heavy either. So. Mm, mm. True. True. I'm not going to weigh it. I'm not going to weigh a hornet's nest filled with hornets. You could do that. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> sounds <laughs> more like my specialty than anyone's. I'm not right. a huge fan of getting stung. So yeah, so you did what? Four damage? I fear, I fear hornets more than I fear uh, spiders. Oh, For yeah. good reason. Yeah. All right, what, how much damage did you do? I did three. Three damage. Getting bitten by a spider is like being in an airplane crash. People think it's a lot more scary, but it's a lot less likely. <laughs> You're much more likely to be killed by a honeybee sting than by any other kind of sting. Mm-hmm. All right. Did you know they had like a honeybee sting therapy or something? Like they actually used the honeybee sting as a therapeutic measure. Apparently, it has like anti-cancer. Yeah, or it's something. something like that. Like they're mm-hmm. great. Yeah. <laughs> you doing all right, Garfield? Yeah. Okay. 
That's just that's just how my eyes get when I knock holes in me. Okay. Yep. All right, whose turn is? Oh, okay. Airfield. Mr. Right. McCloud. All right, I'm gonna try. I'm going to try to cut his legs off from under it. Okay. Right. And land an attack. Fifteen. 15. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So yeah, you go and you chop it from like the knee down on its left leg. Uh, roll that damage. Uh, D10. What's this? D10 That's is D8. gonna be the diamond looking. This one. Nice. Yes. Yeah, no. Eight. Eight. Nice. Remember, yeah, doing that high rules. damage. Finally having a fighter on the team. Hey, I'm a fighter. I'm in your muck. <laughs> you're like, you're like a do gooder fighter. Technically, I can yeah. do more damage overall, but <clears throat> it's uh, I'm the comic relief. Yeah, I'm just uh here so you guys don't die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, you you uh like a badass run up with your sword. And chop the leg off out from under the, the golem, and it starts to fall over, and it lands on the ground. But unfortunately, it is its turn, and hornets start pouring out of its face. And that's all. That's, that's all that happens. <laughs> that was a four. <clears throat> They're just kind of looking around, like, "Who did this?" Ah, now, angry ticks fly out of my nipples. All right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, my turn. Uh, Flint's turn, so he taking a page out of uh, what's your name? Z- Zetsubo. Zetsubo. Sounds like a good boy. Let me write that down. Yeah, I had to write it down too. <laughs> <laughs> Zetsubo. Alright, so taking a page out of his book, uh, Flint is going to run up with his sword and try to attack it as well. But, uh, you know, as it's falling, he swings and misses. Alright. Lear's turn. Okay, I guess I'll roll with the all combined dice. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to try and shoot it with my arrow, but it misses. Hmm? You didn't, like, declare what you were doing. Okay. Shooting with my arrow. Rolling. Natural oh, one, you should have left oh, it. Oh, man. See, I'm all right. going. Cheers. So, Margarita! So you're still, uh, fumbling from that bee sting. <laughs> and, uh... You, you go to pull one arrow back, but you let go of it, and it shoots you in the foot. Oh, yeah, oh. I did crit fail, yeah. I'm still remembering the nine. I was like, hey. <laughs> uh, the human foot, I presume, would be easier to hit. Three, Three damage. damage. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you crit failed and shot yourself in the foot. Ah. All right. I'm going to try and smash its feet and its legs. I rolled an 11, so I missed on the first one. Oh, hey. hey. Alright, so if you got him, drink him. I just hit the uh, next one. 15. So, there's a 2. And there's a 3. Yeah, and you crit, right? Yep. Roll one of them more. Roll one more? Uh, wait, right. wait. Oh, I see. Bottom yeah. number. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so after having its leg chopped off and it's just smashed in the face even more. It's not looking so hot. Mm-hmm. All right, well, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to try to decapitate it as much as it has. <laughs> okay. I fear this will only anger more wasps. 18, nice. 18. A, B, D10. This one, probably. Mm-hmm. One. Ah. Uh, <laughs> So you, uh, <laughs> you chop off its toe. Yeah, you go, oh, you go decapitate it at its neck, but you just get the top of its head. So it's like you give it, a, you give it a nice haircut. <laughs> details. Yes, it's all about the details, my friend. All right, paper wasp turn. Golem, paper wasp golem. It's turn. It's really sick that you uh, specified paper wasps because they have the worst stings. Yeah. Yellow it is going to try to, in a last ditch effort, surround itself with the bees. No, not bees. Wasps. Boy. 17. It, it succeeds. So, everyone in the. Everyone next to it, probably. Yeah, roll to see if you get hit. What do we roll? Just go to okay. 12. Ooh, I got hit. Ah, but yeah, 
So I presume I'm out of range. You two, yeah. You two get hit, and it is six damage. Oh. Ouch. Okay, that's not fun. I'm glad I had that potion. That is the paper watch golem's turn. Now it's going to be Flint's turn, and he's going to try to finish this thing off. And he misses. He does not. So he still, uh, he got stung close in the face, so he's starting to swell up a little <laughs> bit. And he, like, brought his sword down, but he missed, because he couldn't really see. Uh, right. Lear is going to fire another arrow. Is this the same one that you nice. pulled? You just, like, pull the one from your foot, and there's like, yeah. Yeah, I okay. think so. He's he's very uh, eco conscious, yeah. resourceful. Yeah, and I do need to uh, do some math to figure out how many arrows I have because I uh, I had a lot of them stolen by that kid. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, you did. So I think this is the first battle in which I've yeah because I I haven't shot any I didn't shoot any arrows at the um, the flower thing. Yeah, no, you didn't. Did I shoot? Oh gosh. I think I was primarily using the uh, the whip. You are the um, the snake and the witch. Mm-hmm. So really, I haven't used that many arrows. So probably have enough. So. Mm-hmm. But I'll have to and that. that was a D six yes. whip. A D eight. A D eight whip. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's why I was using it over the arrows. Mm-hmm. All right, rolling for damage. One. Okay. <laughs> and that is just enough, actually. All that hey. wow. What? Oh. Yeah. We're not shooting the belly button. <laughs> Uh, what, describe it. Where, where do you want it? What do you want to happen? I run around behind him and I shoot him in the butt. Okay, yeah. So with that last shot, that was hilarious. Yes, you know, you, you want him to feel your pain. It's not quite a fire potion, but oh, it's close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, you shoot him in the butt, and uh, he kind of like sinks into the ground, just flat, and starts to like disperse, and all the Paper wasp fly away. They don't chase us. No. <laughs> Alright. So that was the paper wasp golem. That was cool. Uh, so. That was annoying. Where'd you find that on Pinterest? I did. I think i s I think you showed me that before. I have. Because the the drawing looks really familiar. Yep. It's a really cool idea. <clears throat> yeah. Alright, so we're off to see the wizard, the wonderful, wonderful wizard, wizard of Oz. I may be an entomologist, but I was forged in a childhood fear of stinging insects. I didn't receive yeah. my first sting until I was like nine or ten, and it was terrible. See, I don't like uh, insects buzzing in my ears yeah. because when I was little, a uh, bee like went in my ears and stung me. Oh, Not nice. like in the canal, but like right in right my ear. in your ear, yeah. And so that's why I don't like buzzing in my ears. First time I ever got stung by a wasp, it was a yellow jacket, actually, and I mm. had a fly swatter that was up near the door. I swatted at it, and I missed, and it came and landed on my hand, I was just kind of inspecting it. The next thing I know, I was just in a world of pain. See, yellow jacket stings, you can actually, like, feel the anger in them. <laughs> yeah. Like, a, when a paper wasp stings you, it's just, you're focusing on the pain itself. But with a yellow jacket sting, you can actually feel the anger coming from the yellow jacket as it stings you. It's just a nice See, right. finger. My experience with yellow jackets, uh, I was trying to be nice, and uh, we did around my neighbor's, um, on his side of the power box. Mm-hmm. I was like, That's well, why he wasn't weeding me. <laughs> yeah. He's like, well, you know, uh, there, he's kind of old, and I, I, I'll do this for him just because, you know, I, why not? Just be good for him. And so I did my side, and then I went around the other side, and then just yellow jackets poured out from under it. And I was wearing shorts. Oh, no. And they were the stinging me in the legs, one. and oh. then they were, like, going out my shorts. And I, like, ran to the house and, like, took my pants off and, like, jumped in the pool. Oh, no, they'll, they'll only wait for you at the surface. Yeah, yeah. no, but it was far, it was far enough yeah, Will they really just wait for you at the surface? Wow. They're, they're mean little folks. <laughs> yeah. My friend and I uh, got stung by a bunch of yellow jackets once. We were in some really, really thick, like, southern Mississippi woods, mm. post-Katrina woods, and um, it would take us, like, two hours to get from one side of the small patch of woods to the other, and yet we stepped on a yellow jacket nest, or I did, and uh, I just 
went to him, I just went, run. He's like, what? I went, run! <laughs> we, 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 we tore through those woods. Like, I had never moved that fast through that patch of woods before, but we were just screaming through Smilax and everything. We just ran right through it. I still got stung seven times. Ouch. <laughs> you got stung like 12. Yeah, Dang, I got out. you're the one that stepped on it, too. It's never, it's never fair. <laughs> <laughs>